fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual. A man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. When the pioneers settled in the West, bringing civilization and the roots of progress to the barren plains, the Indian chiefs sent their braves out on the warpath to burn the settlements and kill those who pushed the wagon trains forward until the great white father in Washington sent his soldiers to make peace with the Indians. The most warlike of the chiefs was Lame Bear. Finally, even he had smoked the pipe of peace with the army. The white men were ordered to keep out of Lame Bear's territory. Here is the war horse Black Cloud, fiery veteran of a hundred campaigns, the most famous horse between our coasts. Black Cloud, Chief Lame Bear's war horse. Hmm. After the battle Lame Bear put up against the army, he's just about the most publicized horse in the country. What an act I could build around that animal. But do you think you can buy him for me, Madrigo? Money will buy anything, Barlam. Especially that kind of money. Five thousand. That's for Lame Bear. And another five for you when you deliver Black Cloud to me in St. Louis. It's a deal. Good. Come on, Shorty, we're going to be busy. Good luck, Madrigo. I make my own luck, Barlam. Ten thousand. Pretty good pay for delivering a horse, eh? Yeah, but five thousand of it's for Lane Bear. Yeah? There's more ways of getting a horse than paying for it. You ought to know that. White hunters, Tuttle. Ah. If they're after Buffalo, they're heading for trouble. You know, this territory is reserved to Chief Lame Bear, and Lame Bear won't stand for trespassers. Come on, Tuttle. We'd better warn them. Visitors. Oh, one's a red skin, the other's mask. Now, what in the blazes? Take are... it easy. This is no hold up, or they wouldn't show themselves. Maybe they want some grub. Remember to keep your mouth shut about what we're after. If we're against the lame bear that we're after Black Cloud, we're going to be out of luck. Don't worry, Matt. We don't talk. Howdy. Hello. Fight hunters, eh? That's right. Fight hunters. What's up? Need some grub? What's the mask for? The mask is my business, and we're not after food. You're Matt Madrigo, aren't you? That's right. How'd you know? Aren't many hide hunters left. Recognize you from your description. Tano and I want to warn you that you're trespassing on territory reserved to Chief Lame Bear. You entered it when you crossed the green. If you know it's healthy, you'll turn back. Maybe we don't care about our health. And if we don't, who's going to spoil it for us? Lame Bear will. He'll try to anyhow, and maybe the Army. The Army wants to keep peace in this section. All right, you've warned us. Thanks. I take it you're not turning back, then. What do you think? I think you're looking for trouble. That's our right, isn't it? You'll find it. Montano, these gentlemen are looking for trouble. We're wasting their time. And you may be wasting your scalps. I sure put a burr in his tail. All right, Beggs, whip up the horses. Like the masked man said, we're wasting time. You'd better ride to the fort, Tonto. Ask Colonel Graves for a detachment to turn them back. Mm, me do. If them after Buffalo, they may get plenty mad. Yes, and start on the war path. He's only looking for an excuse to fight these days. You go to the fort. I'll ride to Lazat's trading post and see that Lane Bear learns about this in the right way. Get going, Tano. I'll pick up your trail later. Me go now. 
Chief Lame Bear's son and a trusted brave made camp. The boy was pleased with the truce between his father and the white men. He went about his work tending the fire, unaware of the danger that lurked near, very near. Come on. Then suddenly his companion had a feeling that they were being watched. But he saw no one. You and Tom go after Black Cloud. Sam and I'll take care of the Redskins. Begs, you follow me. We'll make a circle and come in behind them. Redskin so good, he's plumb wholesome. Forget this one over your saddle. I'll go back and see how the boys made out with the horse. He won't this one hurt. He may come in handy for a hostage if we need him. He's Chief Lame Bear's son. Black Cloud tied up? Yeah, he sure put up a fight. It's quite a job. And the Indian? Sam just tied him and throwed him in the wagon. Good. Now our job is to get back to the railroad as soon as we can. Let's get going. Right. Give me a lift. The wounded Indian boy struggles to reach his horse to report to Chief Lame Bear with a message that will touch off the fires of war. Nestled among barren mountains in Indian territory is the Burnt Hills trading post to which the Lone Ranger has ridden to talk to Chief Lame Bear. Man with mask, speak with straight tongue. Lame Bear, do nothing now. I don't know how you got him to promise to let the army handle Madrid your heart, but you did. It's trouble. Madrigo made off with Lambert's son and his war horse. Lambert's raging. We got to get out of here. You're right, Lazar. You get to your horse. I'll cover you in case of trouble. Run them, Lazar. They'll go back to their village. And what you want to bet? In another hour, they're on their war path. 
Yes, and ready to kill every white man who gets in the way. We'll have to warn the army. The quickest way to the fort is through that saddle. But the quickest way to the army is to follow on Madrigal's trail. Tano is to get a detachment of soldiers who turn them back. We'll head off this way. On silver. I'm Lieutenant Bannister. You're trespassing on territory reserved to Lane Bear's tribe. I've come to order you back. You're a little late, aren't you, Lieutenant? I've already turned back. Turned back when him and that masked partner of his told us to. First I knew we'd been trespassing. You're a hide hunter, aren't you? That's right. What have you got in that wagon? Take a look for yourself. What are those men doing over there? Take a look for yourself. down. Indian, you're wasting my time. <laughs> that black cloud, that lame bear's war horse. What do you want to do with him, boss? Take him and get White Eagle out of the brush. Throw them both in the wagon. And get Black Cloud and time on behind. We hadn't seen them soldiers coming when we did. We'd have been prisoners by now, and they'd have been taking us back to the fort. <laughs> You're lucky, Matt. Uh -huh. I told you I make my own luck. I don't like it, Lazar. This is where Madrigo camped. The cavalry were here and left without taking him into custody. His trail goes on. The cavalry went back. He's fooled them some way. We'll have to ride to the fort after all. No, I'm going after Madrigo. You go to the fort. Yes. Lane Bear will come through these hills, Colonel Graves. If we station our regiment right about here... No, I won't do that. A show of force won't settle this. You see, according to Lazat's story, Lame Bear is in the right. I'm going to talk to him. Talk to him? Yes, under the protection of the white flag. A parley. I know Lame Bear. He's been my friend. And a talk might do what fighting never will do. You'll come with me, Bannister. You too, Lazat, if you feel up to it. All right, Colonel. I can risk it if you can. Lame bears in there. I can tell the signs. Took to cover when they saw us coming. Lame bear, afraid of three men? It's a trap, sir. Maybe. Well, shall we go on? We're fools, sir. We ought to get out of here. We're not back. Nonsense. Up. Pull yourself together. We're only... I can do for you, Lazard. I 
sure could use a drink of water if you had. Where's Biggs? He's back there guarding the pass. Figures he's going to die. Well, he figures right. Hey, that's no death chant. I savvy that lingo. He's signaling somebody. No more of that, engine. Reach. Pull out your gun and shoot at the sky. Now. I beg. Get up there, all of you, and see what's up. Maybe a trick. Friend, glad you dropped by. Moving. The hand behind. Not a very good tie, but it'll do till the boys get here. One more turn to make sure. There, there, I'll hold you. Good. Boys are coming back. Cut him. The knife. Get behind the wagon. Ah, uh, you probably want to sleep. Ah, uh, wagon is always. Hey, man! Raise your hands. I'll drop your gun. You. Get over there. I saw our horses yonder in a gully. Maybe we can make it to them. Carrying him? Of course. We haven't got a chance. That's right. But I'd rather be out in the open when we haven't a chance. So let's try it. Give me a hand with it. There's your father. Get to him, quick! 
We were told you were headed this way. We came as soon as we could. And just in time. Here, I want to show you something. Rigo and Company. You've met these fellows before. Yes, I have, and I'm glad to meet them again. I thought you would be, Lieutenant. Colonel, you should be out of trouble once White Eagle has talked to his father. In fact, I think you're out of trouble right now. Thank you, friend. We owe you our lives. I want you to understand that, Lame Bear. If you behave yourself, no more trouble from Washington. But if you don't, I'll make plenty of trouble. You savvy that? Lame Bear, savvy. There's the man who should get the credit for this, my friend. He fine feller, big warrior. What him name? No one knows. I can only tell you that most people call him the Lone Ranger. Oh, silver, oh! 